Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 12 box moonshot baseball mixer. It's a random team break. Everyone gets a random team. No vet commons or or paper base. Non-numbered paper base won't ship. And there's a lot of great stuff in here including a dynasty box. That should be pretty nice. So, pretty nice stuff. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Appreciate it. And thanks to, uh, congrats again to the winners right here. And all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each list. One and a five. Six times for each list. Your names first. One, two, three, four, five. And sixth and final time. After six, we got Connor down to Sean. Connor Burnett down to Sean McHale. Let's... Pop that in there. All right, five and a one. One and a five, six times for the teams. Four. And a one, six and final time. We got Reds down to the Buckos, the Pirates. All right, Connor with the Reds, Brandon with the Cardinals, Tyler Rutledge with the Red Sox, Ryan Harrell with the spot that you won, Angels, BJ Jordan Astros, Scott Goodman, Blue Jays, Aaron with the Orioles, Matt Menlin, you got my Dodgers, world champs, BJ Last Spot Mojo, Phillies, Thomas with the Royals, Gary with the Diamondbacks, Chris Lombardo with the Tigers, Ryan Kaysen with the Mets, Hunter, you got the Nats, Mary Lou with the Cubs, Justin with the White Sox, Justin O with the Yankees, Austin with the... Uh, Mariners, Paul with the Giants, Adam Kupperman with the Rockies, David Kist with the Rays, Rick Serrano with the Braves, Dario with the Marlins, Keith with the A's, Chris Perrin with the Twins, Jack B with the Padres, Zach Paul with the Rangers, BJ with the Brew Crew, Brandon with the Tribe, and Sean McHale with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Let's get all that on one page. We'll sort by column B. We're going to pause the video and allow for a little bit of trading. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, everyone. A lot of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done in the 12-box Moonshot Baseball Mixer. Thanks, everyone, for getting into this and waiting patiently for it. BJ with Last Bot Mojo. There's your Prism Pack winners as well. They got some nice teams. I'm going to set this over here for now. We're going to start off with this. We're going to start off with Gold Rush Baseball Value Pack, which is sort of their lower tier sort of repack stuff. So there won't be anything too crazy in here. But we do have that other Gold Rush box, which should have a lot more fun stuff in there. But let's get let's get this one going first. So, but there are you, there are some surprises in here, though. Top camera right there, keeping track of the boxes as well. All right, good luck, everybody. So usually there's a couple, I'll keep that card right up there. Usually there's a couple of these kind of cards and then some other kind of card in there. So we got Alec Baum, 14 out of 23 for the Phillies, one of the uh, finalists for... For, uh, NL Rookie of the Year. We got Fernando Tatis Jr. Rookie card. That's pretty nice for Jack and the Padres. And we've got a uh, Joe Cunningham authentic autograph on the St. Louis Cardinals team card. There you go. From uh, 1958. Tops Baseball. That'll, that'll go to the Cardinals. That'll be for Brandon Metzler. Oh, this one only... Oh, there's the other card. 
Oh, we've got some autographs here. We've got Davis Wenzel, Rangers Auto, for Zach. And then we got something from Five Star, Yusai Kukuji, Rookie Auto, 9 out of 20. Silver signatures for the M's. That's going to be for Austin. And Royce Lewis. Nice, from 2019, Tops On Demand. That 55 Bowman design. Royce Lewis, graded a 9. That goes to uh, the Twins. That's going to be for Chris Parent. Actually, I'll just leave this here. Try to try to do a recap at the end. All right. It's Drew Hall, Expos. That'll go to the Nats. Hunter. There's Dylan Tate, two color patch and autograph, 10 out of 99 from NT. And there's UC Santa Barbara here. And, oh, and that'll go to the team on that checklist right there, which uh, will be Rangers. That's going to be Zach. Then we've got a one of one Bryce Turing from Flash Baseball. Prismatic Gold. That's for the uh, Brewers. Bryce Turing's on the Brewers, right? He is, and still currently a brewer. BJ Jordan, all aboard the Big Head Express. Woo -woo. These are kind of hard to open. I don't know if you can just do it that way. All right, we got rookie Pete Alonzo from Tops Now. The go-ahead homer capping the comeback and a double-header sweep. That's for uh, Ryan Kaysen and the Mets. And back here is George Springer, 4 out of 27. Free agent George Springer. Astros, B.J. Jordan. There you go. He's fired up. Then we got 8-5, 2017 Bowman Chrome Mini. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Um, Blue Jays, that'll be for Scott Goodman. Chris Paddock, lenticular for the Padres. That's for Jack and the Friars. We got Mitch Brown, 5 out of 10. I don't know where Mitch Brown goes. Mitch Brown was part of the part of the Cleveland Indians organization. There you go. I'll go to the tribe. That'll be for Brandon and the Indians. And we've got an authentic autograph on 1990 score on a 1990 scorecard. Frank Thomas. Trust me, she'll like it too. That goes to Justin and the Chicago White Sox. That's pretty cool. The big hurt. We got Brandon Crawford for the Giants. 9 out of 10. Paul Hutchins. We got Bob McClure for the Angels. Sean Jaspi, tell me your favorite Bob McClure story. No clue. Pitcher for the Angels from 89 to 90, at least, from Los Altos, California. Mm. Yeah. Los Altos or Los Altos? Los Altos, California. Los Altos is the cat. Yeah. Yeah. In 1990, he played 11 games, pitched seven innings, 2 0 record in those seven innings. Bob McClure. All right. 
And there's Jim Lemon for the Washington Senators, 1957. Those That era Washington Senators turned into the Minnesota Twins. That's going to be for Chris Parent. Mark this down, help the shipping team out. It was the Senators after that that also left Washington and turned into the Rangers. Was that a Desert Shield McClure? Actually, yeah. With the Operation, Operation Desert Shield stamp on there. That's pretty cool. What's the significance of that? Just It's just short print? Yeah, good eye, Matt. That's pretty cool. There you go, Angels. Ryan Harold. It's big money if there's if if there's the big names. There's uh Buster Posey. For the Giants, that's gonna be for Paul Hutchins. There's the world, Jordan Alvarez, for the Astros. And there is Francisco Mejia Padres. Graded a nine for Jack and the Friars. Oh, the Chipper Jones Desert Shield is the Holy Grail for that. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, we've got a mini relic. Miguel Cabrera, that's going to be for the Tigers. Chris Lombardo from 2010, Alan McGinter. It's a different border right there. We have Eloy Jimenez to 125, Aqua Shimmer for the White Sox, Justin B. And we got Lucan Baker, one of one, who I think is a Cardinal. Show me Cardinals. Yes. Nice. So that goes to Brandon Metzler. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. I see Sam Strayer saying those are, those Desert Shield cards were given to the troops during Desert Shield. I did not know that. That's pretty cool. There's another Bryce Turing. This time an autograph to 250 going to BJ Jordan and the Brewer. There's Bo Bichette, rookie card for the Blue Jays. That's going to be for Scott Goodman. Another Leaf, one of one. That's Grayson Janista. Who is currently a... An Atlanta Brave. So that goes to Rick Serrano. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! All right, we've got a Jimmy Fox. Old Philadelphia, a 51 out of 87, going to Oakland, Keith Black. Then we've got a Jonathan Loisaga autograph for the Yankees. Rated rookie auto going to Justin O. And we've got a mini, Yoan Mankata for the White Sox. Nice, graded an 8-5. And that'll be for Justin B. We got Brandon Lau for the Rays. Two color passion autograph to 99. David Kist. We got Marcel Ozuna. Cardinals, 50 out of 50. Cardinals edition going to Brandon Metzler. And there's a Shohei Otani from 2018 Tops Update, graded a nine. 
Rookie Otani going to Ryan Harold. There you go, Ryan. And the last Gold Rush value pack. We'll, we'll see some higher end stuff in the Gold Rush box in the very back. All right, oh, we got nice Don Newcomb for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Piece of his lumber. That's awesome. That goes to Matt Medlin and the boys in blue. We've got Shohei Otani again. 365 out of 399. Rookie Shohei Otani. Going to Ryan Harold and the Angels. And another pre production proof one of one. That's uh, old Connor Scott, who I think is an Oriole. Is obviously a Marlin. <laughs> Come on, Miami. Dario, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right. You know what? I'm just going to recap. I'll, I'll write into this. I'm just going to recap this gold rush right now. There's just way too much stuff here. So, a lot of, lot of good stuff here. There's. Some sneaky good value in this Gold Rush value pack. You almost struck out, DJ? What are you talking about? We're only one box in out of 12. You're not going to get a hit in every box if that's what you're expecting. got to adjust those expectations there. And this is this is this is even this is isn't even the best box. All right, now let's get into some old elite, some 2015 elite baseball. one I have no idea what we're what we're expecting in the 2015 checklist is Bob Eubank doing commercial is Bob Eubank still with us he's doing some sort of infomercial here Eubanks is still with us. He's 82. Well, I guess he's doing this balance building system. Well, maybe that's why he's still chugging along. All right, well, thanks, Brad. All right. Some old elite. Not as old as Bob Eubanks, but it's some old elite right here. There's Jorge Soler, future Threads relic for the Cubs. That's going to go to Mary Lou. There's Will Myers, 49, for San Diego. And Dilson Herrera is your autograph for the Yankees. That's going to be for Justin Oak. Thank you. 
We got a die cut, Mike Fultonevich to 52. That'll go to Rick Serrano and the Bravos. No worries, Rick. Where's Jock Peterson? That's rookie Jock Peterson. Where's he going to go? Die cut autograph, Miguel Sano to 99. Is Miguel Sano a bust? Wasn't he supposed to blow up? That goes to Chris Parent and the Twins. Uh, was, was he Mets? Is he Mets? Who am I thinking of? Our shipping. Oh, he is a Met. This is what I don't like about Panini stuff. That'll be for the Mets instead, Ryan Kaysen. Good eye, Connor. I think back then they didn't do as good of a job separating the colors for... I think now that is more bluish and the Yankees are more grayish, I think, when they do those. All right, we got a Kyle Schorber relic, Future Threads. That's going to be for Mary and the Cubs. What are the Cubs going to do this offseason? Are there any Cubs fans out there? What's the offseason looking like? There's Alex Gordon to 199, Jorge Solaire. Will Chris Bryant, I guess, Chris, will Chris Bryant be traded? All right, let's let's get into some of this stuff right here. We got 2020 Donruss Optic Baseball. Actually, let's do Donruss Baseball first, then we'll do Optic. This is just regular Donruss Baseball, not Optic. Marcus Stroman saying, that's interesting. No amount of money would convince him to play for Tony La Russa. Everyone heard about this, right? Tony La Russa, second DUI, arrested, charged, or arrested back in February. I don't think it really came to light until recently, but White Sox saying they knew about it going into it. Not sure why they, I, I feel like the, the La Russa hire was questionable in the first place. Such a young team, kind of, kind of an old school dude. Right, who was kind of out of managing for a little while, but but now it just looks like it looks like a pretty terrible deal. After the Athletics, Keith Law further criticized the White Sox last night on Twitter in light of the newest details. Free agent righty, oh yeah, he's a free agent. That's why he's part of the story. Free agent righty, Mark Stone replied. To call the decision baffling on all measures. Asked by a follower what type of contract it would take for Stroman to sign to play under La Russa, the pitcher replied, no amount of money, honestly. Peace of mind is always priority. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I don't think there's any way that Tony La Russa stays White Sox uh, manager, right? If... Potential free agents are saying, eh. You know, the fans aren't pleased with that. Such a young team, too. I just don't think it... The hire didn't make sense before all the DUI stuff, and the hire doesn't make sense now.
All right. Let's see if we can make sense of this box here. Jose Altuve to 850. So these are considered vet commons. Obviously, stuff like this are parallels like this too. So they will ship. This guy's stock has certainly skyrocketed. Arozarena. This is Cardinals edition. This will go to Brandon. Zach saying, Joe, you're forgetting that White Sox are owned by Jerry Reinsdorf. I see. The same man who forced Jordan off the Bulls. So you're you're suggesting that these that I'm trying to add logic. Do not doubt his stupidity. Well, maybe they will keep him around. That'd be a waste of a season. There's Kirilov with that young team and how much they accomplished this past season. And now they're going to go backwards and sign Tony La Russa and now keep Tony La Russa. Not sure how, how Tony La Russa really, you know, matches up with that sort of younger team. There's Juan Soto to 500. So, yeah, well... That's the case. There's Travis Demery to 50. I mean, hopefully, White Sox fans will will create enough of a you know will speak loudly enough on social media and in the news to really hope to change their minds. It just doesn't make sense. There's Conforto to 75. Zach says, Zach F says, I'm sure Jerry and Tony decide this was a good idea over some scotch and some stogies. <laughs> you want to coach again, Tony? Yeah, sure. Why not? You guys have a pretty fun team. Yeah. Yeah. Let's come on board. What about the old uh, DUI thing? Yeah. No one's going to care about that. <laughs> This is what Jerry Ryan's or is that the conversation, Zach? Nah. No one's gonna care about your your second DUI. Tony? It'll be fine. You're Tony LaRussa. The best manager I've ever seen. Exactly, Chris Lombar. That that's a, yeah. I mean, we don't have to really delve into it, but I think, uh, uh, I think if you follow baseball, I think you you know what Tony LaRusso's stance is on some stuff. There's Yu Chang, 56 out of 99. Yeah, it was clearly an owner's decision, Jorge. It's probably a bad decision at that. Hopefully, they should just walk it back. Just nip that right in the bud. Brandon with the uh, Indians. They really should nip that in the bud. Unless they want to waste a year or two of the, their players and and whatever development that they could make with with a young roster. Yelich to 249. I mean, listen, not to say that if you get a DUI, you shouldn't get a second chance, but... That's LaRusso's second DUI. He's got other things I think maybe he needs to work on before he's, you know, in a public position, a very public position like that. There's a Luis Robert. There's Alex Bregman, relic for Houston. Oh, Oliver's got a basketball question? Yeah, sure. This is kind of a long break. We can entertain some other sports too. The rumored CP3 trade to the Suns. There's an old Keith Hernandez right here. Look at that. 17 out of 25. 
Recollection Collection. That's pretty cool. Mets, that's going to be for Ryan Kaysen. These cards are a lot more fragile back in the day. Um, yeah, he's part of the all. He's got to be part of the all all mustache team. Ryan Harold is a Mets fan. He might be interested. Ryan Kaysen. Well, who are the who would the Suns have to give up? Do they have? Well, they have. They must have the money, right? They've got a lot of youngsters. I don't think they have any. I don't think they have a lot of bad contracts on that team. Now here's optic version of Donruss. CP3, Booker, and DeAndre Aiden, a big three. Wow, Suns are 20 million under the cap, huh? But I mean, who are you, how old is CP3? I mean, I'd rather have Devin Booker and DeAndre Ayton just kind of evolve together. I don't know. Maybe CP3 is like an extra coach for Devin Booker. Hmm. Is that Keith Hernandez? Is he number 17? Jack B is mentioning that. Did I hit two jersey numbers in a row? Not in a row, but in two different breaks. I usually don't hit jersey numbers. Chris Lombardo guesses Michael Bridges, Von Carter, and draft picks. Right, yeah. I mean, I guess that makes sense. He was old, but he was a second. Do you trust Chris Paul to actually stay healthy when when you need him to be healthy? Like, at towards the end of the season? That'd be uh that's your that's the other Ryan, Ryan H. It's Ryan C. C A S O N Kason. Oh, there he is. If you guys are on Facebook, maybe you can uh Try to find each other and exchange information. There's our Facebook group right here. That that could be a, a start. Or one of you can can hit the uh, support button on jaspiescasebreaks.com, and one of you says, "Hey, I authorize Jaspies to uh, share my email address with the other Ryan." Blah 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 blah. And then someone in our customer service team can exchange info as well whenever they get to that. All right, there's Tim Anderson, speaking of the White Sox. Nelson Cruz to 35. And Bo Bichette flipped around. Wow, autograph. Pink, velocity, rated rookie auto for Scott Goodman and the Blue Jays. Got Nate Pearson as well, Scott. Yeah, Ryan Harold, if you want to just email us and say, hey, share my email with Ryan Kaysen. You can go from there. 125 to 125. Tony Gonsolin, the Catman, and the world champion. Dodgers, Matt Medlin. Sean Murphy. Is this an autograph hot box or other three? There's two autographs per box on average. This is our third. This could be a uh, a hot box right here. Usually it's a three autograph hot box or a five autograph hot box. There's three so far. Keith with the eighth, if I remember correctly. We got a silver or a hollow. They call them hollow in Donner Soft. Hollow Trent Grisham for Jack B. And another Boba Shed for Scott.
There's Aaron Judge Orange to 100. That'll be for the Yankees. That'll be for Justin O. And a fourth autograph, Mauricio Dubon, 61 out of 99 for my rivals, the Giants. That's going to be for Paul Hutchins with San Francisco. Ben, what's going on? It's Flyer. Juan Soto, Pink Velocity to 199. And the fifth autograph, Matt Tice. 13 out of 50. Rated rookie autograph for the Angels. It's the MT that you don't want. But he's 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 tricksy because you kind of see M, you kind of see T, you kind of see Lost, and you think, and you see the two right there. Kind of gets you thinking, and then womp womp. Although Matt Tice, Sean Jasby, Matt Tice not not bad, right? Like as a ball player? He's Mike Trout Light. Yeah, there you go. All right, let's get this done. We got some 2020 Bowman Baseball Jumbo Edition. Three autographs per box on this. Oh, did it? If I missed a numbered card, our, our shipping team will will our sorting and shipping team will catch that. We gotta we gotta move on here. Was it someone like significant? <laughs> Sub Grizzle, yeah, yeah. He's he's a the Matt Tice, a Trixie Hobbit. Right, Chris Lombardo, the biggest tease in every group break, Matt Tice. And I, I think they intentionally do that now. I think that uh, I think that they intentionally show just the first digit, the two, just to get you thinking. It might be might be MT two seven, but then it's then it's MT Matt Tice, and you're like, oh, womp womp. What's that? There goes our in-store signing. In signing of Matt Tice. Sorry, Matt. But if you want to ask Mike, <laughs> you guys can both come, but, but bring Mike. Matt. The biggest tease is the red border on the, uh, the Cabot Vigio Chrome Base card. Right, that's the one that's, that's like landscape, but it has red in the back. But when you're flipping through the cards... You'll kind of go this way, and you'll see the red right there. For the, yeah, that's a tease too. So that paper is not going to ship. This is per per tradition for all of our group breaks. The paper won't. Ch I'll save this guy though. And there's Thomas Dillard, 366 out of 499. BJ Jordan, Brewers. Bobby Wood Jr. paper that goes to Thomas and the Royals. That's his first. That Luis Robert rookie isn't actually super... Like his first would definitely be super valuable, but I think that paper is as valuable. We'll save it though, but...
Ben saying big pull. Oh, no worries, Thomas. Yeah, I mean, for this set, this Robert Pawson, um, Bobby Wood Jr. I mean, obviously that'll ship. I think is Dominguez in here somewhere. Those are the first paper, so I always try to remember to pull those. Sean saying the Luis Robert first is hard. Is such a hard pull? Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe they weren't thinking he was gonna be what he ended up being back then. It'd be interesting to see. I would love to to sit down with some tops folks or the people who design Bowman baseball and see like you know like what's the process involved in seeing who gets into what in these products, you know what I mean? Have we not seen we only seen one auto here. There should be two more in here somewhere. Like is it just super casual? They just look at, you know, a couple copies of Baseball America and they're like all right, yeah, these are the guys, you know. Or do they are they actually talking to? Do they have like some consultants or some scouts or something like that that they're working with? They must. There's a uh, Chrome Jason Dominguez, Justin O with that one. How are Dominguez prices doing these days? I'm sure I'm sure Dominguez might actually be a good buy low candidate. He's a big international prospect too for the A's. Keith Black with that one. And we got Andy Pagas, 254 out of 299. Speckle pattern here. Dodgers, Matt Medlin. I think he's a, uh, yeah, he's this Cuban youngster that everyone, that uh, I hadn't heard of him until someone pointed out he's like a big Cuban prospect that the Dodgers picked up. So there's some, uh, there's definitely some upside there. That I would hold on to, Matt Medlin. Maybe consider grading. And there's really no rush on the grading because I don't know when you're going to see him in action on the account of his age. There's Aaron Shortridge. That's your third autograph out of here. That is for the Pirates, Sean McHale. With Bryce Turing for the Brew Crew to four ninety nine. You think the person that wrote that Folgers jingle is just raking? We're just raking in the money, just cashing checks, or maybe it was just a jingle writer for an advertising firm and they get no money from it. <laughs> like they they've given up all of the rights. All right, let's keep rolling here. Let's save these over here. Let's get into some contenders baseball. We've got four box pick your teams of contenders baseball in the store right now. Jazbeescasebreaks.com if you want to get into it. You can keep adding to the break schedule, which was just dropped in the chat. All right, this break's actually taking a tiny bit longer than I thought, but. This is probably the most hard heavy product after that. Everything else is pretty light. And obviously in Dynasty, there's just one card. That's what we're gonna close out with. And this should be a nice way to finish this 12 box 
Moonshot Baseball Mixer. If you haven't hit yet, do not despair. If you hit that, if you hit the card in that Dynasty box back there, I could cover the spot of the break and then some. We got draft ticket, Kyle Hendricks to 149 for the Cubs. And our autograph is Ryan Nelson. Is it Ryan or Ryan? <laughs> Ryan like the river or Ryan like Jack Ryan? <laughs> what do you think it is, folks? It's subtle, but there's Gary with the Diamondbacks. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I have them. I have them down here. Cool. All right. There's Jalen Davis for the Giants. That's for Paul Hutchins. Logan Allen, Cleveland, on card auto for Brandon. You haven't seen a, have we not seen a Torkelson auto out of here? Is he on the checklist? Should be, number one pick. And a redemption, any guesses on that? By the way, I know it's kind of hard to see. These are purple parallels right here. Those will ship. There's three before each auto. There's a rookie ticket, Brian Abreu for Houston. And there's another Astro, Abraham Toro. Abraham Bull going to B.J. Jordan. Ollie guessing Lubab, Luis Robert. Well, let's, let's see. Sean Jasby saying, Wander Franco, it's close. Brandon McKay. Sean got the team right. Uh, that goes to David Kist and the Tampa Bay Rays. He's supposed to be the next two-way star. He can hit. He can pitch. Let's see if the Rays let him do both. Come on, Rays. Let him do both. That'd be hashtag good for the hobby. All right, let's go Chronicles. Three autographs and one memorabilia card per box on average in this. Oh, Olive remembers a Torkelson in the first figure team. I'm watching this as if I don't know the result of this kick. Oh, it's good. It was actually a pretty great kick. It's the Dolphins kick to take the 51-yard, the yard, take the lead, 34-31. I don't know who has Jason Sanders in my all-kicker league. i got to update the scores tonight. There's Starling Marte relic, Gary for the Diamondbacks. 
I have an all kicker league with a buddy of mine. I I think I was down like 40, 50 points going into this week, but I picked up Nick Folk. There's Miles Straw, another Astro. Going to BJ Jordan. Is who is someone suing? Is Jeffrey Lunau suing the Astros? Did I hear that, you guys? Sean, maybe you heard it. Uh, I thought I heard that. I don't know what he's suing him for, or the Astros for. Terrence Gore, someone suing the Astros. Terrence Gore, Thomas with the Royals. Nope, he's not on the Royals anymore. He's a Dodger. Matt Bedlin with the Dodgers. Oh, it is Jeffrey Luna. Why, why is he suing? What's the. Why is he suing the Astros? It's Goldschmidt's 25 right there. And there's world champion Dustin May, America's pastime, on card auto, 12 out of 25. Patrick, what's going on? Nice. Could be a big part of the Dodgers rotation next year. That's going to be for Matt Medlin. To some of this. Oh dear. Some Topps Chrome, right? 2017. Topps Chrome baseball in this mega box? Retail box? Some sort of crazy box here. A breach of contract? Like he was unlawfully terminated? Is that what? I guess you should try. He claims he didn't know anything. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I would love that to go to trial. It probably won't. But I would love to see that go to trial and have him and have like the prosecution bring in all the players <laughs> and be like, he knew. We cheated and he knew. Oh yeah, that's getting settled so fast. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. How much money do you want? Okay, cool. Yeah, they don't want that. Major League Baseball and the Houston Astros do not want that to go to trial. <laughs> oh, we'll open these a little bit. These are those the exclusive cards. Yeah. And then no side takes blame, but this case is settled kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not accepting blame. Oh, this is nice. Cody Bellinger, rookie Cody Bellinger. Remember, this is 2017. Rookie Cody Bellinger. Blue, 80 out of 150. Bit of a weird year for him. He changed his stance. He's tinkered with his, uh, after winning the MVP, he tinkered a little bit with his swing. I don't know if that's what was doing it. Maybe just didn't settle into the season. Struggled a bit in the playoffs. Just didn't look quite settled, but. Future stars Julio Urias, there he is. Danny Duffy, that, that late 80s design right there. All right, that goes to Matt Medlin and the Dodgers. And then we got a couple exclusive packs here. The five exclusive X Fractor cards inside. Oh, these are pretty cool. Chris Archer, Max Scherzer, Dansby Swanson, rookie. Those will all ship, of course. And then another five. Beltray. 
David Dahl, Christian Arroyo, Matt Carpenter, and world champion Clayton Kershaw. What year is this? This is this is 2020, right? This is 2019. So let's do this 2019 mega box. Then we'll go into Topps Chrome. Then we'll go into that Gold Rush uh, baseball vault. Then we'll close with Dynasty. Good luck. We are almost done. This, this this is the part of the break where it, all of a sudden it goes really quickly. Will Zane Gonzalez hit the game tying 49 yard field goal with just under two minutes left to play? No, it's short. Zane. Oh, you can see Zane mouthing. I don't I don't know what happened there. And he's like, I don't know what happened. Shaking his head. I don't know what happened. He's looking at yeah. He's definitely looking at the grass. Teammates, teammates are giving him who are like giants compared to him. Even though Zane Gonzalez is probably like 6'3". Um, these teammates are patting him on the helmets. All right, Zane. That was online, too. That was a good kick. It was a weird snap. No, this is in Arizona. That should be... Yeah. Yeah, Kyler Murray hates his kicker. Zane not getting, not part of the, the hey, what do you want for lunch group text this week. <laughs> Eloy Jimenez, rookie. That's for the White Sox. That's going to be for Justin B. And there's Nate Lowe. Not Lau, but Lowe. Nate says it low. 88 out of 155. 150. How low can you go? For David Kist. Hello, can you go? Vlad Guerrero Jr. rookie card. Some tops sapphire. This stuff is pretty nice. Get into the nice stuff here. Sean, are the sapphires still selling like hotcakes these days? They're still in demand? All right, good. Right, right. Wow, nice orange Aristides Aquino. 21 out of 25. And all of these sapphires, of course, will ship. They're all they're all parallels. In fact, all the sapphire cards will be sleeved, and all rookie sapphires will be sleeved and top loaded. I think the value of this stuff is just at that level, ladies and gentlemen. There's an autograph. These aren't too common. Another Astro, Abraham Toro, going to B.J. Jordan. I feel like the Strohs have got a lot of autographs here towards the end. Oh, we're trying, Matt Medlin. We always ask for triple threads baseball. It's not like it's not like there's just a bunch on the shelf that's just waiting to be sold. Only reason why we don't have it is because it's in such high demand. It's not available. Or it's at a price point that we don't feel like buying it at because it's too high. One or the other. 
But you can bet your bottom dollar, Matt Medlin, that we are always on the lookout for triple threads. All right. This is some good stuff here, ladies and gentlemen. Some good stuff here at the end. I'm glad you grind, grinded it out. Yeah. Uh, you know, and that goes for all the products, Matthew Medlin, and for everybody. If you're wondering, hey, why, why, why don't you just get more Flawless or why don't you get more NT Baseball or something like that, it's not because we don't want to restock uh, products like that. It's just it's either availability or uh, it's either availability or just way too expensive. All right. There we go. It's graded 10, Roberto Almar. Centering, corners, and surface are all at 10 except for the edges. Oh, I guess maybe the frame quality is not, not, not as slick on this 2019 Topps Transcendent. But it's a franchise favorite reproduction. Still graded out at a 10. So there you go. That's Roberto Almar Blue Jays edition going to Scott Goodman. Packaging is a little too good. All right, here we go. Next is not graded, but encased. It's California Angels edition of Nolan Ryan, jersey and autograph. Nine out of 15. There you go. That's Ryan Harold who won the Angels in that, uh, that filler break. It's California Los Angeles Anaheim Angels of Orange County edition. Of the Ryan Express. Rex just popping in, not happy. Sorry, Rex. You popped in at the wrong time. Just popped in 10 minutes later. You've never have known. And never questioned, why didn't I join that mixer when I had the chance? And the last one is Marco Luciano. What? That is not your autograph, Marco. But back in the Bowman Sterling days, he decided he's going to sign it like this. With an M, a dot, and a circle around it. The M, that, that's kind of like an L, right? Do you kind of see an L right here? And then decide to put a circle around that? Like for the O, the Luciano? I could see what he's kind of doing there, but I think he thought he was maybe more creative than he thought. I don't think he signs like that anymore. Does he? This is back in 2019. I feel like more recent stuff. It's not. Anyway. There you go. That's for the Giants. That's actually a pretty good up-and-coming prospect for Paul Hutchins. Joe Jow, what's going on? And the last one. Ooh, Panini encased baseball. Look, could be interesting. All right, graded cards. All right. Like, actually, I didn't look at it. All right. Should we this way? This way? This way? It's a 10 out of 10 autograph Whit, Whit Merrifield. It's Whit Merrifield. Two color patch and auto out of Dynasty. A little bit of sticker, sticky stuff over here, but there you go. Dynastic decoration. In 2019, second right-handed hitter to lead MLB in hits in consecutive seasons. Last person since old Kirby Puckett. Kansas City Royals. That's going to be for Thomas R. and the Royals. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate everyone getting into the action. Let's do a quick little recap right here. And remember that first Gold Rush value pack break, I did the recap uh, after I finished that box. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Ryan, Ryan H saying, yikes. Oh, that was a pretty decent break for you. Or you, you didn't like the Royals popping on <laughs> There you go, that one to Ryan H. There's the greater Roberto Almar right there as well. And there you go, and a bunch of numbered cards that were pretty awesome. And there you have it. 
I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and that was Jaspie's 12-box Moonshot Baseball Mixer. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us, and we'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.